pleasure to be training, and I see those training with Sudo Juliana Galende on my, on my left. We are here training some basic kata with the, the most emphasis on Ashidos graduation. And right now we are uh, studying uh, Ameno Tanima, that is uh, one of the most basic le uh, levels or kata in uh, Bato Jutsu. Uh, many uh, students are es asking us about how to perform with, uh, with an opponent or with a partner, what is uh, Ameno Tanima and what is the meaning of these movements. Uh, I have uh, taken here my makimono for, uh, for Kenjutsu to Yaijutsu no So, and this alone makimono. And we have here, and um, near my side, on the Yaijutsu to Bato Jutsu part, we have here Yaibato no Kata. That is the Kata, the forms for, for Yaibato, it's the Bato Jutsu. And right here we have Ame no Tanima, that means Ame, that means rain, and Tanima, that means valley. Uh, then it's the valley of rain, rain in valley. And Ame no Tanima was uh, performed or was with the idea of having uh, <coughs> a valley that has a lot of rain and the, the ground uh, was so humid, wet, and it could slide. Then the most of the sequences are when two partners uh, go to meet one to the other, the two enemies running one to the other, and of course, as being the ground wet, normally the, the enemies pass away one to the other side. Then this is the idea. Then the base needs to be down, needs to be well based to the ground, and uh, this is the main idea of what Samuel Tanima. Then let's go to make the interpretation for the first sequence in order to understand. I only take, move the maximum roll and put the side, not two. Damn it. Thank you very much. <coughs> let's go. And first, you know, Juliana will do the story part. She will be. She will be the one that uh, will perform the kata, I will be the UK. Then, by my part, I will stay on Chudan no Kamae, moving, running forward, when she will try to do Omo Tenuki, and I will pass to the side, but as the ground is wet, I cannot stop, because I am moving very quick to her. Then I pass, and I try, to turn to this side. Then from here, I, when she is attacking me, I make mini uchi in order to a pass and try to attack very fast one side and right the other side. She defends and right now when I am trying to recover, she attacks me very fast to cut uh, on my on my forearm and finish the kata. I go to the side and see things. Then, this is the explanation for the first sequence of the 10th movement of Ameno Tanima. We will continue with other sequences. Um, I, I guess it will be very interesting for them to see the first application of it, of the, of course. the explanation. So, yes. if you can repeat. We need 
maybe several opponents on the front side and the back side are maybe to the to the to sideways in order to uh, explain what is this kata. But yari it could be explained in any circumstance, in any position, and it has the the, the interesting part that the sliding round makes the yari pass to one side from one side to the other. Then let's go to the second sequence of this kata. Please, those who could you could you apply? Sure. Okay. From here, after I uh, try to to start with the yari, uh, I take need to take out my my uh, my hand because coming here with this yokonuki will take out. Then after this situation, I need to purge the round in order to, to regain stability and go to the side. After this circumstance, I try to attack once again and. In this case, the Juliana strike or cut my yari in this position and right now try to purge myself. Then I protect myself and try to gain to the other side. Right now, when I try to stop again, she goes to the side and cuts me on Makubi. This is the final part. Let's go to the Fast application. Let's try the normal velocity. 